This is a simple one, but for any of you who use utility, I think this is pretty clutch. In utility, by default, if you turn it up, you get 35 decibels a gain and it goes down to negative infinity. That's cool because it gives you a lot of control of your sound. You have a wide range of volume control. Shout out to Executor Hideo from the YouTube comments. He gave this trick. What you want to do to get more fine-tuned control over utility, you want to group it. Open your macros by clicking that macro button. Map the gain to macro 1. And in Ableton 11, you can actually make it so it's just this one knob. Click on your map button, and you can set the range. So, for example, maybe you want to have it negative infinite to positive 6. Why that's dope is now you have a much smaller range to plus 6. You can get more in depth with your adjusting. So that's just one way you can do it. You can also set it to positive 12. You could set it to negative 12. So you have a different range set. And then when you double click it, it goes back to zero. But now your resolution of the knob is negative 12 and positive 12. So instead of plus 35 and negative infinite, you can fine tune it a little bit. I think that comes in handy sometimes if you're doing more fine tune adjustments. It's not for everyone, it's not for every situation, but I think that could be helpful to save as a rack. And then in Ableton 11, you just have the one volume knob. I thought that was an interesting trick by Executor Hideo. What do you guys think of that?